Hello and welcome to another episode of Circuit Crush TV. Today I have an old hard drive. This is a Western Digital 800 hard drive. This was manufactured, looks like September 2005. It's an 80 gig drive, 7200 RPM, and it's one of the older parallel interfaces. This was around the time when the uh, serial ATA started to become more and more ubiquitous, but still um, these parallel drives were found in a uh, lot of computers still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. And why would I do that? As far as I know, this hard drive works. But I'm going to take it apart because, first of all, there's a couple of interesting components in there that I might be able to use. And secondly, it's interesting to see how things work. So today we're going to tear down this hard drive. And this, is, I assume, is a typical hard drive. I haven't taken actually that many of them apart. but um. I know that inside of hard drives, you get a couple very strong magnets and also a pancake motor. So those are the parts that might be interesting or useful that could come out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and start by removing these six Torx screws real quick. And there's also a hidden screw here too. And I'll show you where that is in a minute depending on what hard drive you have, it may or may not have any hidden screws at all. I'm going to go ahead and remove these six. And before I, I go and remove the hidden screw, I want to turn it over and I'm going to remove this, this board. This board controls the, the drive and there's just three little torque screws here. A lot of times a hard drive will fail because a component on this board will burn up and if you want to be able to fix the hard drive or recover data from it, sometimes all you have to do is replace this board. So let's go ahead and and, uh, one more screw I didn't see. There's four screws. I don't want to break it. Okay, that comes right out. And um, we can see on here there's a couple of ICs that are probably, I don't know, custom made. I haven't taken the time to actually examine these and, and look up the part numbers. But I assume some of these could be custom made. Probably not really going to be able to use any of the parts on here. Um, they're really tiny, small resistors, capacitors, various other parts. But it's interesting just to look at it. So let's set that aside and get back to our hidden screw. Now the hidden screw is right in this area. The label covers it. So I want to poke through that. And then here's the screw. I don't remove the hidden screw, I won't be able to there, let's get it out of there. I won't be able to open up the hard drive. So let's go ahead and take this flat blade screwdriver and pry off this cover. It's on there pretty tight actually, so we're gonna boom, get it off. Now one interesting thing I noticed about this drive is there's this thing here. And I, I'm not sure what this piece actually is for. If anybody here knows, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what this, this little piece does. It doesn't have any electrical connections or anything to it. So interesting to know what it's for. But here we can see the inside of the drive and we have this piece which moves back and forth as the platter spins and reads and writes data to it. So we got a couple more screws to remove. I'm going to remove these two here. And also this one. And I don't know what this little piece is either, but we'll set that aside and get that out of there. Okay, so what do we have? We have okay, now here's the first interesting piece here. This this piece right here, I'm not going to use my screwdriver to point to it, because this piece is actually, this is actually a very strong magnet. 
This is just a metal piece, but here's the magnet here. And this is so strong, I can't even budge it with my fingers. And there's another piece just like this underneath that controls this. And there's a, a coil right here. We can see a coil in this thing and makes this move back and forth. But the, these magnets, these rare earth magnets are really, really strong. And they're so strong, in fact, that if I were to, to take this one and the other one off and stick them together, I probably would have a very hard time separating them. So usually people will put uh, nylon washers or nylon spacers in between these kinds of magnets. And they come in different shapes. This is kind of an odd shape. Depending on the hard drive you have, it may be different. I don't know. But um, definitely want to hang on to that magnet because they're, they're pretty interesting, pretty neat to play with. So let's lift that up. And then this coil part itself, voice coil, I call this thing should come out. Let's see if we can pry that out. So we're probably not going to be able to use that for anything. Um, first of all, we have to move it, of course, because there's two. There's two of them. One rides on top, the other rides on the bottom of that platter. So here we see this mechanism. Here we see the coil in here, and this goes to the control board. The electronic control board connects to that that we talked about before. So that's, that's kind of an interesting piece. And then here we have the other magnet that I'm going to go ahead and remove this little plastic clip. And then remove the second rare earth magnet and the piece of metal that it's mounted on stuck to. Let's see if I can pry that right out. There it is. Okay. So here's the platter which rotates, and underneath this platter, which, which actually does the turning, is a motor. Now, there are actually six little tiny torque screws that hold this guy on. And I don't have a torque spit small enough to remove it. But luckily, I had another hard drive just like this, and I was able to do a little hack workaround using a small straight screwdriver, pair of pliers, and some other techniques to actually remove the screws. It took me a while, took some patience, but here we go. So this spindle comes off. Ladder comes off. There were three screws that held the motor down. And then here is our motor, which could potentially be used for other things and projects. It's a small, flat motor. So the rest of it is just a block of aluminum that holds all the parts. Nothing special there. And um, that's it for the hard drive teardown. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and let me know if you know what, what this piece is for. And let me know if you've done anything interesting with old hard drives or hard drive parts.